getting out and about today. I'm going to a new city, new spot, new area. As y'all already know what it is, man. Straight blogging, interacting with people, random videos, spotlighting people. You know how we do it over here. Reality media, man. Stay tuned, stick around, and I'll be checking back in in the gym. Y'all already know what it is. The message yet to come. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, finally. Finally made it to my first destination. I'm down here in a little small town, man. Um, I kind of like grew up down here. Um, you know, we moved from this location uh, to my new location, new location, correction part myself, uh, almost 30 years ago, man. And to be honest with you, man, this place looks the same, bro. Like nothing has really changed, man, other than they finally have a car wash ice machine roadside barbecue over there. let me blow this screen up a little bit i can't do it but anyway they have a few new things down here um in the area um obviously um they done kind of like built over the years but it's still the same little spot man and i've been wanting like i said i've been meaning to want to come down here you know what i'm saying just to kind of like walk around because, you know, it brings back memories, man. It brings back a lot of memories. And I do have a lot of memories uh, <laughs> to share. You know what I'm saying? But we'll get into that another time. Anyway, I'm just walking through, man. Just kind of like checking out um, the area. I'm um, seeing what they have going on down here. I do know they have a few new restaurants or whatever. I'm not going. Well, I'm not planning on going in eating or whatever. But I'm just going to continue to walk, man. And look around and keep in mind um y'all know we're just doing random videos so stay tuned stick around Ooh, yeah. all right guys so this is the civic center man rich green six Civ uh, civic center or whatever and um they do do a whole lot of stuff up in here man um i remember you know what i'm saying you know coming up it was a kid's dream to come out here to the civic center it's also come out here and play in the park right here, man. I can blow it up now and let y'all get a good view of the park as well as the Civic Center. And basically, this is a spot where the kids can come at, you know, in the summertime or whatever, you know, after school and just have fun and enjoy the day. One thing I can say, violence is not at an all-time high down here. Um, that's one thing I can always say about down here in Rich Spring. Um, you do have some nice, friendly people down here. You know, everybody mix and mingle pretty good. Um, they got something going on. What's that? Clay Bird House Class 624. I may need to check that out. Yeah, definitely I need to check that out. And there's the art center back there. Uh, don't know if anybody's there, but uh, we're going to try to see if we can get in. So just stay tuned. All right, guys, so I just made it to the art gallery. Um, they allowed me to come in, um, kind of like display a lot of this awesome work that these um, men and women um, literally put in to give all these creations the life that it has. Um, I was just speaking with a lady, man, Miss Sharon James, and uh, I'm going to ask her a few questions, man. She's been doing this thing for a long time, but look at that. That is super dope. That is dope. Look at these creations, dude. Wow. All these years, this is the first time I've ever been in this place. Seriously. So, I'm going to walk over here because they over here working. We're not going to hold too much of their time up because we know they're busy. But this is Miss Sharon James right here. Um, Hello. Introduce yourself to the camera and tell these guys a little something about you. We're doing you. a uh, fused glass class. Um, we're making sun catchers today. And we're at Ridge Springs Art Gallery. And come on up and see us. We're open Saturdays, 10 to 2, every Saturday. So I have a question for you, right? Just out of curiosity. How long have you literally been doing this? Um, 
I'm actually a glass blower, but about 35 years. 35 years. That's a long time right here. And you see, she got a nice little team with. I want to spotlight <laughs> Miss 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 Christy. You know, she seems like she's a nice lady and she's <laughs> over here working or whatever. Um, as well as Cecilia. Okay, and Mrs. I'm and she's camera shot, so we can't put her on camera. Uh, Diana? Yes, <laughs> Another camera shot, but okay. Miss Christy and Miss um, James, these guys right here, they don't have an issue with being on the camera. So the purpose of this video is just to pretty much spotlight people um, that puts in a tremendous amount of work. It takes a skill set as well as the expertise mm -hmm. um, to be able to bring these type of creations into life, into existence or whatever. So I just pretty much wanted to come in and spotlight these guys. And, um, you know, they open. If you guys are interested in buying any type of arts and craft, um, she can give you the website information or whatever the case may be. You come check them out. Actually, there's classes listed all the time on the website for Ridge Springs uh, Art Guild. Yes, it's a... Uh, we love art. Rich Springs loves art. Weebly.com. You heard that. So that's the information right there, right? Um, stay tuned. Stick around because um, I don't think this is going to be my first correction, my last time coming. Um, great vibes, great atmosphere, man. I'm just kind of like infatuated with the paintings that's on the wall, man. It's just unbelievable how a person can literally sit down and bring these type of creations into life, man. It's just spectacular. Um, before I end this video, I will allow y'all guys to kind of like, you know, scan the area with me or whatever and check out what they have in here. And um, like yeah, I said, just stay tuned, art. stick around because the best is yet to come. Ooh, yeah. Guys, so I told y'all I would kind of like come in and show y'all some arts and crafts. Um, there's some crazy stuff in here, man. And I have Miss Carolyn with me. And um, I guess I can get her to kind of like break some of this stuff down to you guys um, for us to, who created whatever. Uh, prices and you know so on and so forth. So, Miss Carolyn, um, how are you doing today? All right. <laughs> You're doing very fine. See, I'm not going to put her on camera because she's camera shy, and not only that, you have to respect people's privacy or whatever. So, um, could you tell me a little something about um, just the overall atmosphere here um, for us with the paintings and stuff like that? Well, first of all, the the gentleman over here is well known photographer. Uh, he's does North Augusta, Aiken galleries, and it's very good. Yes, he was my mentor when I came here. And then some of these paintings are just different artists, uh, and they're all priced differently, so it's kind of hard to give you a price on it. So, so there's no price up here, but they do have like the pe the creators of the creations up on the wall, just in right. case of anyone. And price on the tickets or. Okay. And everybody's everybody has numbers and that they put names of the art and so it's all just and guys i'm gonna be honest with y'all man this is like again literally my first time ever coming inside of this place and this is a part of my roots i grew up in rich spring um you know south carolina whatever and this is the first time i've had the opportunity um to come in here and it's kind of amazing that i'm sharing it with y'all like that but it's just the reality of it but there are some awesome, spectacular paintings in here. Um, listen, man, y'all guys, if you're in the local area, you definitely need to come down here and check out the, um, this art place in Rich Frame, South Carolina. But what is the location, by the way? Uh, it's behind the old, the, behind the Aiken, I mean, the kind of the Rich Frame Civic Center. Okay, behind the Rich Frame Civic Center, right? And that's not hard to find Off because Rich Frame is not a real big town. Um, but there is some popularity that exists down here. And obviously this art place is one of them. So I'm going to show y'all a few paintings, man. And um, we're going to move on to the next area and uh, we're going to sound out. So stay tuned. Boo. All right, guys. So we back and uh, Miss Carolyn is um, being nice and polite to show me some more uh, artwork or whatever. And this right here is super dope, like literally there is the price tag, the title, the artist, a little bit of everything, man. So um, I'm kind of like just infatuated overall with these paintings. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there, obviously, like myself, that enjoy this type of creations or whatever. And it's not easy work. You got to literally put a whole lot in to get these things the life that they have. Right. So that's uh, appreciate those um, that God has blessed with the skill set as well as the expertise to be able to do so. 
So, oh my goodness. Let's talk about this stuff. What's up with this? <laughs> this gentleman, uh, the, this artist has actually passed away and he was a member here. Uh-huh. And uh, when he passed away, his uh, wife wanted to do something, you know, to... Um, remember him? Remember him. And so we had a... Uh, she, she's an uh, author, so she's uh, has written a couple books. Oh. And so we had a book signing here, and then she brought some of his art. He just had a weird sense of humor. And... Just it's just different. His kind of art is just totally different. Is this like made out of clay? <laughs> some, of it, some of it is, I think, uh, or paper mache. Okay. But these are cigar boxes, and then he put heads in the cigar boxes. Now that is dope. Now this is the first time that I've literally seen someone create a cigarette box. Yeah. With a face inside, with the cigar representing everything. Now, this is just uh, this is just some next level stuff right here. Literally, this is my first time actually seeing anything from this magnitude. Never seen this type of creation. So, rest in peace uh, to Mr. Ryan Butler and thumbs up, man, to God for blessing this man uh, to be able to do this. This is just, man, this is miraculous right here. Like, literally. And we're going to move and on over. All of this art in here is his. Everything so belongs to is, Mr. Butler. I mean, he's a good, he was a good painter, but he also had this weird sense of humor about him. So, well, there's always uh, two sides to every story. So, yeah. and look at this right here, Food Lion. This is like, this is just super crazy. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm loving the most right now. <laughs> Antlers on this, and what's the price range? No way. 75 bucks, it should be worth way more than that. 75 bucks is not enough for something like that. Literally, I would price that in the thousands. Just for the creations, because like this is something that Stephen King <laughs> would literally think about doing. Um, and so everything in here is what Mr. Ron Butler uh created. All these paintings and all not anything on the shelves. On the walls, and he's done passed along. So again, rest in peace to Mr. Butler. Uh, man, this is just—I'm just awestruck, man. Like I've never seen paintings like this. They're like three-dimensional paintings. Oh my goodness! Look at this here. This is just dope. Yes, sir. It looks so surreal. Um, so shout out to. To Mr. Ryan Butler and his wife, man. And man, this is just super, super, super crazy. So just stick around, guys. And we're going to continue on with the video. Boom. So guys, I'm just leaving from the um, art gallery. And when I tell you, man, there's some amazing stuff in there, man. They have some amazing, amazing paintings in that art gallery, man. And I had a great time um, in there um, talking with those guys. We got some connections going right now. Um, one of the ladies is, is interested in doing a documentary. Um, you know, uh, she has a strong resume. So uh, I'm definitely super excited about that, man. And like I said, you know, this is what life is all about. You know, getting out, networking, you know, um, you know, recognizing um, greatness and great peoples when you see them, man. It's, it's nothing wrong with that. Um, I have to remind a lot of people that I deal with, you know, it's, don't be selfish. It's not all about yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you see somebody in the work hard and in a better position than you, don't knock them for that. Team up with them. You know what I'm saying? You know, learn their format. You know what I'm saying? They blueprint. You know, whatever, you know, that helped them to be successful. Maybe it can help you in, 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 in other ways or whatever, you know? So um, we're going to continue on with this blogging or whatever. Um, when I come back on, I'm just going to flip the camera around and just give y'all some footage or whatever. And we got one more spot to stop at after that and then we're gonna end the blog for the day but um i hope y'all guys enjoying this great content that i'm bringing you booyah all right guys i can remember this gas station right here when i was a kid man now it's a mechanic shop though it used to be a gas station a little store just come in here and buy the little penny candy and all that good stuff there um and that's still the original name so that's what it was called back in the days and that sign still exists 
And you can tell that sign had been up there for quite some time, but it is what it is. But we're going to keep moving on. Um, kind of like show y'all around a little bit. Not too for sure what's going on with this. I think this is a crime scene right here. Uh, yeah, this is a crime scene. Looked like this place might have been set on fire. Two marks or whatever. Wow. Oh, nope. Somebody busted the window out. Why would someone do that? It's nothing in that to take. I would assume it's not nothing in that anything in that to take, but it is what it is, man. So this is a small town, small area, as you can see. It's literally cluttered around here. Folks are nice around here, man. They will literally speak, wave, and acknowledge. And, you know, I've never been in this is Juniper, Juniper or something like that. Looks like a nice place, man. Never been in there. Like I said, to be a small area, man. They try to make it do what it do. So, you know, definitely if you ever come through here, check out this place. Because they got some great food and drinks and stuff in there. Uh, so it is what it is. I would go in with my camera, but I don't want to feel like I'm evading anyone's privacy. How you doing? Good. What's y'all operational hours? 11 to 2 30 so definitely come down here and check these guys out they got some great food and drinks in here man moving on to the next so i said i haven't been over there but i'm definitely finna go over there and check that area out but we're just going to continue to stroll on through give y'all some footage i just got finished talking to her on the moped <laughs> kind of ironic but it is what it is. So it's some nice little areas over here, man. You know, to be a small town, they try to stay coordinated and decorated up and, you know, and look good and stuff like that. Um, oh, wow. This is awesome here. Nice little creation. And you see what it says? Please do not sit on me. So this is something that you can't sit on and bother or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I guess they just got it on display, um, you know, for the community to see, which is an awesome thing. But I really do like that, man. I really do. It's cool. Going to this area right here. I'm gonna keep it truck trucking. Keep it moving. So I definitely at some point need to check this restaurant out, a Mexican restaurant. I think I'm going to go in there for a second, guys. So stay tuned and stay locked in. Boop. Well, to my B. Noah's, it's not open yet. They working on it in the inside or whatever. Um, Haley B., I heard a lot about this place right here. Um, sell like, you know, clothing for weddings and funerals and, you know, stuff like that. I like to have some great women in attire in here or whatever. Uh, that's the name of the place and by appointments only. So that's the phone number for anyone that may be interested in uh, doing a little shopping at Haley B. The pipeline. Um, I know this is not open yet. Yeah, I don't think it's open yet. But we're going to move on and keep trucking. Continue to get some of this great footage. Uh, the town market familiar with that area so and the blue cafe that joint is blazing it is blazing in the blue cafe I want to go up in there I literally do and I'm going to just see if I can get up in there for whatever reasons let's just see it says open so y'all have to just bear with me or whatever and we're going to see if we can slide in here and just kind of like give y'all some footage. Oh, yeah, it is open. It's a nice place. It's nice. It's a nice little area. So, oh, yeah, I like this. Special of the week. Big Bang Shrimp 
tacos topped with our homemade slaw and served with homemade tortilla chip sauce and sour cream. Oh, wow. Nice little area, man. I like the designs. Where it's set up. My Dallas Cowboys. This is awesome. This is awesome. Randy White, the master. Nine-time Pro Bowl selection. Super Bowl champion. Super Bowl co-MVP. Hall of Fame. 1994. And it's actually signed. That thing, dude, is worth some money. Cowboy Nation. So we're going to move on up out of here. Stay tuned. Booyah. Friends. Yeah. Perfect. Have you shopped this before? Yeah. 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 Yeah
This is what it looked like in the early 1940s. The gas station is now the site of the nut house, though on a new ownership. That's the place that I was talking about right over there, guys. That's the place right there. So. We're going to go over here and check out this Blue Star Memor Memorial Highway. A tribute to the nation's armed forces who served in World War II. That is very interesting there. Surely is. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all, man, for checking in with me, man. I'm about to end this uh, video or whatever, but I had an amazing time. I met some amazing people that allowed me to come inside of their location of venue to film and to record, and I definitely appreciate it. I don't take any of it for granted or whatever, if that makes any sense. So just stay tuned and stick around because y'all already know the best is yet to come. Booyah.